afternoon, good evening, good morning to one and all. How is everyone? How are you, Dis? How are you, Dis? I'm great. How are you doing? Oh, man, I'm nervous as hell. I'm fucking nervous. But you know what? Okay. I, I put the call out. I said, guys, guys, I'm doing the first stream. And who came? It was Dis. Dis Harez Dis. Man. Good man. Good love, man. Good man. There's always You're the good. first time. There's not, not nothing like the first time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's... Uh, we'll see how it goes you know it's uh it's either a sink or swim we're, we're either gonna you know or we're gonna just drop to the bottom of the ocean but we, we, we'll see the the title of the uh, of the stream let's discuss protect philippe and the journey so far um so i mean listen ah oh, one second my man frozen frozen Hey, hey how's it going? Ah, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Good to see you. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Yeah, yeah, good. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I mean, listen, this, this, you know, I've been on a few streams, uh, but you know, when it's your first stream, uh, yeah, today, I mean, I've had a few uh, nerves, you know, especially as it gets closer and closer to the time. But yeah, how are you? Yeah. What's, what's happening with you? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Hang on one sec. Hang on, I gotta hop off. Diego, they're all coming. Yeah, howdy. This, how are you? <laughs> Jamie, congrats. Yeah, man. Yeah, all, all good. All good. How's Diego? You are good? You well? I'm good, man. Cheers to yeah. you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, yeah, the the the, the topic uh, is really just the journey thus far. Um, I think a lot of the guys that are going to be watching will have seen me uh, on, on a number of the channels. You know about my uh, the World Time, the Pocket Watch. My missus has got the the World Time, uh, but but some of some of you probably don't know about the earlier watches that I've had. Um, so I want to I, I want to just. Uh, yeah, just show you guys where my where my journey started with uh, with Patek, um, and uh, yeah, where where we're up to. So it all started with a Patek Philippe Calatrava uh, five one one nine uh, J. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share my uh, screen, guys, uh, so we can uh, we can have a little look. Let's have a look. Share screen window. Uh, there we go. So this, this was my very first Patek Philippe. It was a 5119J. Uh, 2019, uh, I, I went to, to London. I flew to London to Bond Street, just up the top end of Bond Street. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it was the very, the very, first, the very first watch uh, which got me started on the, on the Patek journey. And, and it, it's, it's very simple, very clean. Right, guys. It's what? it's just. Why did you? Easy. Sorry, Jamie. Why why did you start then, and why that watch? Is there a story behind it? Um. So prior to that, I I, I was into you know I had the Rolex Submariner, the Datejust. So I'd gone through a couple of watches. Um. In 2019, I was doing a lot of travel. Um. If if I just go back, you see the Patek advert. You never actually own a Patek Philippe. You merely look after it for the next generation. So this this is me. I don't know if you can see slightly to the left uh, the armrest. This is me on the aeroplane, and it's it's seeing that advert on the back of the magazine, the in-flight magazine. It's seeing that advert time and time and time again, and eventually, it, you know, it, it just resonates. Those words it, they resonate with me, and it was I had to get a Patek, um, and and this particular model. Uh, is really very accessible. Um, I, I don't remember the exact price, but I, I think it was something. It, it was it was just over ten thousand pounds, something like that. It, it wasn't it wasn't crazy. It was fairly accessible. But uh, so what yeah, drew what, what drew you to this watch? Why do, do you? It's very very dressy. Do you like the Roman? Uh, uh, well, this is. Like, like I say, mate, I, I was wearing I was wearing a lot of suits, a lot of travel, um, and it was a watch that I wanted to 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 have to wear with 
you know, suits and shirts and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. And as far as Patek Philippe go, this is probably the most accessible, right? Because of the price. The barrier to entry to get into Patek Philippe is often okay. very high. This watch, yeah. 10, 12,000 pounds at the time. I mean, that's that's quite a low entry level for, for Patek Philippe. So, you know, it was it was my way of taking that first step. Yeah. So that was the very first watch. That mm -hmm. was the very first watch. The second you that watch. Why yeah. why did you sell it, uh, Jamie? Why did you sell it? Because of the third watch. The third which watch. We'll come on to the third watch, which okay. is the current, which is the current the world time. Okay, okay, okay. To to Pardon. get the world time, the the five two three one J, the cloisonne dial, the uh, this one. To get this, I part exchanged watch one and watch two, and also another okay. Rolex and some cash. So I'm going to show you watch two. Okay. Watch two is Aquanaut. Oh. Uh, yeah. Which uh, I, I really love that watch, actually. I, I really. Wow. I really love that watch. It was uh, 5167R, Tech Fleet Aquanaut 5167R. I miss that watch. Um, it, it was really comfortable. The rubber strap, uh, the, the size, just everything was perfect. The rose gold, just, yeah, I, I miss that watch. But it was, you know, like I say, watch number three, the world time. I, I know within my heart it was the correct decision. But it was, you know, it's done now. That watch is gone, and obviously, I've got that a question to ask you. Just going crazy. Wearing that watch, um, mm -hmm. I know when you get it, you they you guillotine the strap, they size it for your wrist. Did sure. you have it sized a little bit big so that when your wrist swelled, it wasn't uncomfortable, or how how did that work? Yes, that that was actually that wasn't me who suggested that. That was the the lady in the protect shop. Um, mm -hmm. because I, I bought it on the gray market and the size was too small for me. So I had to get the lady in the protect shop to order it, to order a new strap. Mm -hmm. I then went in and she said, let's cut it a little bit bigger. Try it for a week. If it's a problem, come back in and we'll cut an extra, an extra bit off. Um, so, so they're the professionals that didn't even come into my, my thinking that that's obviously what she was thinking, Diego, uh, with, with regards to. You know the expansion of the wrist as as and when you you, you get hot and whatnot. Yeah, because I know it's got zero adjustment once it's cut. That's it. That's you can, it. Mate. You can only it, go smaller. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And that's my problem. My my wrist is probably a bit a bit more thicker <laughs> than the the average yeah. wrist. Um, yeah. So yeah, there was no um, yeah once obviously, but it is what it is. When I when I eventually got rid of it, obviously I kept the old one and uh, I gave both straps. With, with the watch when it was uh, when it was gone, but yeah, I, I know Diego, you're you're close, uh, or you're, or you're having talks at the minute for uh, for an acronym. Maybe, maybe it's a bit premature for me to to share that, but um, mate, if you can that get it, doesn't matter. I, yeah, it's too late now. But if if you can get it, uh, yeah. honestly, yeah, if how if much, I can get it back one day, I'd I'd love to get it back. How much were the straps from your? I think it's like five hundred, five hundred euros. <laughs> Some, something like that, something like that. Um, but they, they usually are. It, it might have been a bit less because it's rubber. Maybe it's 400. On the, um, on the world time, uh, the strap was about 500 euros. But, you know, the, it's good, good quality material. Um, I, I can't say enough about this watch. You know I, know, I know we get the whole, oh, it's a hype watch. You know, all, the, all these people flexing. But honestly, it was, yeah. It was a great watch to, to have, and I, yeah. I wore it, and I got a lot of joy. I didn't even yeah. know what that was about five years ago when I saw it. I didn't know what Patek mm. Philippe was, really. But I just saw that, and I was like, damn, that is awesome. And then I saw how yeah. much they were. I was like, huh. It's yeah, I'm looking at it now, and it's just uh, the price is just going nuts. You know, they, 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 yeah. you know, I think Archie always says, you know, once you get out of a watch it's the worst because you can never get back in because the price accelerates away. And, um, 
But anyway, what watch number three, which, you know, obviously watch one, watch two, the Colour Charver and the uh, the Aquanaut, uh, were what what got me into watch number three. So I, I shouldn't I shouldn't necessarily uh, dwell uh, too much. I'm going to switch my um, my camera. So this this is watch three, the the World Time. It's the uh, five two three one J. It's gorgeous. Wow. Uh, with the cloisonné dial. And uh, yeah, well time. You you guys know my story. You know I love I love to travel. Um, this this watch means means a lot to me. You know it's it, it's that planar sphere in the center of the dial. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm very happy with this watch. Can you actuate the? Uh, I don't even know what it's called, man. <laughs> Let's see this if we bit. can get a shot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. Let me zoom out a bit. Get, get a bit out a bit. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, so as I do that, it, it, it wow. the outer ring goes round. It's that button on the uh, corner. Yeah, uh, cool. Their clasps are really beautiful too. I, I love the protect clasp. Oh yeah, the deployant clasp, yeah, real good. But th this is um, this for me. Here we got we got Fred coming in. Here we go. Hey Fred. Hi. Hey Fred. 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 Uh, for those that don't know, Fred's been a big uh, a big uh, component of getting me onto these uh, to do a live stream. He's he's been a big uh, come on, Jamie, do a, do a live stream. He's he's a good guy, a really good guy from Sweden. I think uh, this you've met you've met with uh, you've spoke with Fred previously. Frederick. Yeah, we I know uh, this. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is my pride and joy, and I, I I think this is a watch. You know, I'm not in to then get out. That this is a permanent watch. I, I really want this to be a, to be a permanent watch. So have, have you gone to detail the story about going into the AD with the two watches and kind of what the negotiations were like, or do you want to, or I've never uh, heard the story. So the first two, the, the, no, because I, I, the first, the, so, so the first watch, the Calatrava, the 5119J, um, I, I bought that in uh, Oh yeah, yeah no, I mean like Street. when you when you sold the the first two to get the third, was it at the AD or was it? Oh no, no you're, not, you're not getting this at the AD. This this uh, I've been into the AD and I've spoke about this. She she's had one. So this version five two three one J. This version came out in two thousand and nineteen. She's had one since two thousand nineteen. Right, so. The scarcity. She, she, she cannot. How can I walk in fresh client? Yeah, never okay. bought anything. It's just not going to happen. So you flipped um, the first two and used it towards this. Yeah, plus okay. plus a Rolex date just and a, and some cash. Um, okay. But yeah, from there, from there, from there. So th this is that. From there, I uh, I got my pocket watch. I got my. <laughs> I got my, you know, you know when you go down these rabbit holes, my God, it, and it all it all happened so quick. I, I didn't I didn't expect all this to happen, but yeah, Collectability, um, a company based in New York, uh, John John Reardon, super super good guy. Collectability, uh, they they specialize in a lot of uh, vintage Patek uh, items, and uh, they they have a lot of pocket watch uh, pocket watches available. Um, and uh, yeah, this this pocket watch it was uh, it was made in 1899 and sold by Tiffany in February 1900, uh, which uh, which puts it you know near on 122 years old. Uh, but what I really like about it, it's got what's called a five minute repeater. So it's we have to differentiate between a minute repeater and a five minute repeater, but but it's got a, a minute repeater. So if I uh, if I open it up, we can do uh, 
we can do that. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let me switch my camera to this one. Here we go. I'll do the, uh, the sound next to the microphone. Yeah, so I mean, look, it's it's different. Um, it's Tiffany signed on the on the movement. Tiffany signed on the case. Tiffany signed on the uh, dial. Uh, I've been reading the authorized autobiography from Nicholas Fox. He, he wrote about Patek, and it's really interesting when you get deep into the story. It, it, in those days, like the 1900s, Patek Philippe was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. And uh, Mr. Patek, he went to America to try and crack, you know, America, the American market. And he left, he left with a uh, 150 unit order from uh, Tiffany. So, yeah. I'm going to have to relocate here and just, this damn fuckers game. Oh, very nice. He's coming to attack me. Yeah, yeah. I know the one. I got, I got, I got one at home as well. What are you saying, this? Can you see yourself with a with a pocket watch one day? No, I will lose it. I will lose it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frozen? Frozen's got quite an extensive uh, collection. You, so for the pocket watch, purely curious, do you take it anywhere? Does it ever leave your house? Nah, no. Nah. Okay. I mean, it, it leaves my house to come to my office. Sure, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take it to the London Watch show, you know, to show the guys. Uh, but uh, I don't use it as a means of telling the time when out and about. Uh, but I, I actually bought it as um, as a gift to my daughter. She, I, I wrote her a nice uh, letter. I wrote it with the fountain pen to my darling daughter. This pocket watch is for you. You know, I, I dedicated it to her. And yeah, it's an heirloom. Yeah. Basically, it's an heirloom. Yeah, it's a family yeah. heirloom. You're going to make it. Okay. Okay. No, that's so super cool. I, 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 I'd love to own a pocket watch. I know nothing about them. I'll be quite honest. Absolutely nothing. Mm. Um, but I mean, they are. You know exactly like you said. They're. I mean, it's a family heirloom piece, right? It's something that uh, um, that you certainly don't use every day. You don't bring with you every day yeah. um you know as you know as much as uh you know a lot of us collect wrist watches and such we do wear them we do take them out uh, it's, it's pretty rare to, to have a watch that just never gets used right so sure so, sure yeah no for but sure i think it's pretty super cool, cool because the you know we all we're into our wrist watches but what came before the wrist watch it was, it was the yeah. pocket watch you know yeah. so I mean, of course, if you want to go carry on further back, we'll, we'll, we'll be in. We'll be in collecting uh, sundials. Uh, I don't. I don't want to, you know, get into all that. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's nice and it makes me happy. Honestly speaking, to, to have the pocket watch, it, it, it makes me smile more than anything. Yeah, I, I look at absolutely. it, and uh, I just, I just have the vision that one day, whether it be twenty years, thirty years, forty years down the line, I, I'm hoping. My my daughter should be should be you know middle aged woman. I'm hoping she'll she'll look at it with that letter, and it'll be a way of her you know to remember me. That that's that's the goal. That's the big motivation with with the pocket watch. Absolutely, you gotta yeah. you gotta yeah. make sure while she's growing up that she doesn't. You kind of keep it from her so she wants it. Because <laughs> yeah, well you just she, let her she's have not. It. Like, She's not getting it. I mean, I, I say it's for yeah. her. I'm the one that's really enjoying it right now. Yeah. Um, if anything, I've tried to get her into to watches, and she, I'm like, oh, look, look at this one. Another one? Another one? You know, she, she's not I inherited a, a few of my grandpa's watches, and the mystique was, was that I wasn't supposed to be touching them, and I'd sneak in my dad's office and take it to my bedroom and listen to it and sneak it back down, so... I'm sure if my dad had just let me have the watch as a ten-year-old, I wouldn't care as much as I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. So. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. But uh, you know, I see them now. They're they're more into uh, like I, I have a Fitbit, 
I'm like, which one do you prefer? Oh, the Fitbit. The Fit. She prefers that one, and she wants that one. She wants that one because of the steps. She wants to count the steps. Yeah. What, what can you do? How old is she? But, uh, seven. Seven. Okay. She, she'll be eight in August. Um, and then from there, uh, we move on to the final, the final piece uh, that I've recently. So, so obviously, it's been very much about me. Uh, it was time to to share with the wife. Um, so yeah, I, I took my wife to the um, to the shop, Patek Philippe, and uh, the lady, the lady got it bang on. I, I said to her, "I'm looking for something for my wife." Uh, and she said, I got the perfect watch for you. And it, and it's it was uh, like a big, big window, we can't see it. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Sorry. I'm uh, how do you do that? There we go. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. I'm just figuring this, uh, this out. Yeah, so, um, this is uh, the world time oh. 7130R 7130R. Um, nice. it's 36 nice. millimeters. You got all your diamonds on the uh, on the bezel, and then on the prong buckle. You also got nice. your diamonds as well. Wow. Beautiful. Nice. But as a um, you know, as a as, oh, a, shit. <laughs> as something for the wife, husband, and uh, husband and wife. You know, it's the perfect. The perfect two, right? Because what large, size is the Gruz again? 36, 36. 36, Okay. Does it wear large or small for thirty-six? Uh, I, I think it's just right. I think it's absolutely sure. just right. Yeah, I, I think it's now, just, just that, right. Uh, did they make the ladies without the diamonds by chance? No. No. Oh, sorry. No. Of course not. <laughs> so, yeah, she she got it. She got it perfectly right. She, I said, I'm looking for something, and she said, I know exactly what you need. And yeah, it was, it was done, done deal. How do I get um, back to how we were? Just did that. That's that's ah, cool. good. Yeah. So that's the the journey oh. so far. I went through uh, what is five. I've had the color trial of the Aquanaut, World Time. Obviously, my missus now got the World Time. I've had the, got the pocket watch. Uh, next, I think an annual calendar. That's where I'm heading, but we'll, we'll see. What, what's your guys' thoughts on uh, Patek? Do you see Patek part of your collection? This. Well, if I ever, if I ever, <laughs> if I can ever afford it. I will be too scared to hold it in my hand. If you ever give me a Patek, I will be too scared to hold it, you know? It's too yeah. much money. Too much money. To be honest, I, have, I mean, I can't afford I have it. To, I have to warm up to the thought of leather straps. I'm kind of a bracelet person. Uh, I, I don't mind straps if they have a deployment clasp. I can't stand um, uh, the pin in the buckle system. It just drives me nuts. So I, I kind of have to ease into that. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a wonderful lineup of watches. I mean, Patek makes excellent references, right? I mean, it's, there's really nothing to be said there at all, right? I think so. I think so. I think, I think it's, um, I think it's an amazing brand. When I look at uh, Patek, yeah. uh, it just speaks to me. The brand really speaks to me. It, it, I feel the connection, and and I look at Patek, and I, I wanna, I want to. It's a brand that I think of has principles, a uh, good way of conducting itself, and, and it's you know I, I take a lot of inspiration from from that brand. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, what about Diego? Diego hey. wants a Patek, no? I just want to say one thing. Tell yeah, me. hold on. I was yeah. resituating. Uh, I think I've done it here. You know, let's be honest. Uh, the Patek Philippe is the king of all the watch brand, I think. Oh, that's what I say. Patek. Yeah. Patek is king. 
That's what yeah, I say I in the chat. Love, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can pull it up, Jane, if you have the capability that uh, the white gold one that I was we were talking about yesterday. Was it the uh, calendar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that thing to me up. is absolutely gorgeous. Let's put it up. Share screen, window. I would love one of those one day. It's certainly mm, wow. not something that. Uh... Uh, so, yeah, this one, right? 5396G. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking for, for next. To I me, that any... just looks so. The proportions are just incredible. Yeah, I think any. If you're going to sort of try and build a collection of uh, Patek watches, this is like the staple. This is the foundation. This is this is like the most wow. iconic over the last twenty years. You know, the outside uh, a lot of the Patek shops they have this on the wall. Uh, yeah, so the sign outside the shop, a lot of the shops have this on on the wall. Now, are, yeah, are these are these a weightless watch? As in the the weight of it, very like, light. Do you have to go on a wait list for these, or can you just get one? Oh more? no, I, f I think these are readily accessible. Okay. Yeah, re relatively, relatively. I, I think they're, they're relatively accessible. Uh, yeah, forty six. I, I think you can get this relative. The one, so I'm I'm in between this one, or the rose gold, which is yeah. yeah with, I'm in a yes. millimeter, is it? I mean, inside. It's 38.5. It's 38.5. Uh, That's exactly that's the same as my world time. That's right. good. I was a little concerned yeah, it would be good. 40. That's really good. Yeah. 38.5. Uh, the, the other one uh, that I quite like is this one, the 5212A. Which is the... Is uh, that in steel? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, still weekly calendar. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, beautiful. 40 mils. But yeah. So yeah, that's uh, ooh, it's an expensive hobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no kidding. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if you can call it a hobby, really. The sickness, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to run into the the fun. You know, how do I insure all of these things? You know, no comment, no comment. I know, I know. Uh, I got Walmart Frederick, doesn't cover it Frederick, all. I got Frederick chasing yeah, yeah, me every ten, day. Ten. Sort sort yeah, your insurance. Sort right. your insurance. Yeah. Sort your insurance. And he's right. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on the <laughs> case. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's good. yeah, yeah. It's important. Yeah. yeah. Big time. Frederick, are you in the states? Uh, Sweden, Stockholm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, guys. Different countries. Let's. Uh, I think we just keep it short and sweet. We 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 done we done the best part of half hour. I broke my uh, my streaming uh, virginity. I feel a lot better for it. <laughs> and uh, I want to get I want to get out and uh, say. Phew. What a relief. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are you wearing today, Jamie? The uh, reverse system. Well, well, I'm just having my wedding ring, and obviously I got the world time with me, so I slipped that one on. Yeah. Let's see if we can do a wrist shot with your other camera. Yeah, let's, what, what are you wearing, Diego? No, I was going to say, let's see if we can do a, a wrist shot with your other camera. Oh, okay, good idea. Yes, yes. Let's see how Let's switch that up. Camera. I'll go full screen. Wow. Works very really well. I got it on upside down. Yeah. No, no, Excuse you're me. fine. You're fine. No, no, it's upside it, down. It, it, I need, it looks. Oh, I need... you put the watch on upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's the perfect size. Yeah, it's yeah. not enormous. You know, it doesn't look like a Panerai dress watch. I, I think that's very nice that they kept it at thirty-eight. I think it's a very good, good size. I think it's the size a dress watch should be. You know. Yeah. 
it's perfect very nice yeah it, feel, it feels perfect it feels really perfect and then the the missus you know yeah for her i think i think it's i think it's good for her 36. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. For sure. Oh, so um, yeah, uh, we got Marco in the chat. Marco, hi, mate. He's um, he's saying Houdinki, Houdinki, Houdinki Insurance. I, I got on to them. The problem is they only insure for um, people in America, people that live in America. Yeah, I, I checked them as well. They do not insure in Canada either. Mm. It's it's not easy getting insurance for watches or mm. because what they consider watches is jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we can argue whether it is jewelry or not, but that's what they classified under. Uh, so when you go for jewelry insurance, there's there's not a lot of options and it's 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 not easy. I will just say it's not easy mm. as a Canadian for sure. I, I, I yeah. can only imagine as a European. Um, mm. your I, I, I really bit. wanted I, I really wanted Houdinki but you know I got all the way I filled in I, I signed up you know and then I've got to the ah uh, sorry we don't in, they insure worldwide if you take your watch worldwide you go traveling fine yeah. but not if you you, if you, yeah, you could season. you could give me those watches and then I'll we'll have them matured and then yeah. you can take them worldwide yeah <laughs> <laughs> Right. There's a loophole uh, for everything. Let me have a think about it. The only no thing, pressure. the only thing, the only thing with Hodinky is the underwriter is Chubb, uh, and I have heard. I don't have any firsthand experience, but I have heard that they're a little bit hard uh, to deal with if you ever have claims. Mm. So, for whatever that's worth. But again, it that's a moot point for us, right? What do you think about you know safety deposit box, you know, in the, in the bank, something like that? Well, I'm not sure, like, I have no idea what it is, what it's like in Europe, um, but it's, in fact, I don't really know what it's like in Canada either, uh, because there's no straight answer to this, is what happens if something gets stolen out of a safe deposit box? Um, the bank will tell you they don't insure anything that's in your box, it's your problem. That being said, if it's stolen because of negligence through the bank, I still think they're liable. But of course, you know, try and ask them that and get an answer you won't, <laughs> right? No. Um, so I don't. I don't yeah, think they I, specific. I don't think that they specifically. Okay, list the items. I think they just give you a cover up to. So you you say okay, well I know my worths are worth. I know my watches are worth seventy grand, so I'm going to get yeah. eighty grand's worth of cover, I, and then you just pay out. It's amount. probably pretty rare for something to get stolen out of a bank safe deposit box. Mm. Um, I've never heard of it in any of the groups from anybody within the community. I think that's super rare. Um, you're more likely to have it stolen. You're you're most likely to have your watch stolen either in uh, if it's in your home and, and you happen to not be home and somebody breaks in and just steals all your stuff, or it's stolen while you're out. Um, while you're traveling, if you leave it in a hotel room, something like that. Those are probably the most common ways to have a watch stolen. Uh, the other way to lose your watch would be in something like a home fire. Um, and that actually happens more often than you'd think. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of what you got to look, look for when you're in turn. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, um, I, I can tell you, having gone through applications with insurers that specifically for um, jewelry watches, uh, they do ask in their applications, do you have a safe at home? How heavy is your safe? Is it anchored to the wall? Is it anchored to the floor or is it freestanding? Um, what kind of lock mechanism is it? They, they actually ask a lot of things around that uh, if you have a safe in your home. Um, I guess they take that into account. Mm. Yeah, this is my. Uh, I'm going to be on this next week. hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, but I have. I've really, you know, I've really bought new new doors. I've got the alarm. I've got twenty four hour security on the gate. I got. I got already good security, but I, I need to. I need to up it. Ideally, I can get a box, a box at the bank, and you know, just keep one at home at all times, and then just yeah. swap them out from time to time. But yeah. 
Yeah, well, insurance will also right. they'll they'll give you a break on uh, the premium as well if they're stored in a safe deposit box at the bank when you're not actively wearing them. They call it actively wearing. Um, mm. So yeah, it's it's. I mean, you have to see what it's like again. It's com- probably completely different where you are in Europe in terms of how much the premiums are. But uh, yeah, it's it's for for me. I know it's not cheap. One and two. Uh, it's not easy to find. There's not a lot of insurers out there that insure these things. You know the the problem the problem with uh, the banks here. Uh, they don't like this business anymore. They yeah. in my country. They they're trying to get rid of these boxes. Um, okay, interesting. So basically, they're just not renewing them once they come to ah. to expire. It's because the same it's as Sweden. Yeah. It's just hassle, you know, for them. They yeah. they have. Uh, you know, it's a liability for for them. It's a it's a target, and uh, it also takes up space uh, that they don't make a lot of money on. So, yeah, they're actually trying to get rid. But but I've I have a, a lady who I think can help me get into one. Hopefully, uh, yeah. but yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. It's a bit. It's interesting. It's, it's yeah. I mean, it's not a huge money maker. Like my box is what sixty dollars a year or something. It's not a exactly. lot of money at all. Um, but every bank here has space. It, it's not an issue to get a safe deposit box. No problem at all. Mm, sure, sure. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Cool. Hey, I noticed you yeah. got, um, send your pics to Jamie Ockles at Gmail. Is that something you have? To yeah. Well, look, 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 we'll, we'll see. I mean, look, I'm not going to be doing a daily stream. I'm not going to be, you know, doing these too often. Uh, possibly once a week, once Jamie. A... Exactly. Once a week, Jamie. You, you've you you've cemented your time slot. It is uh, 10 a.m. Mountain Time here in North America uh-huh. on Saturday. There you go. Yeah, this, now, this is a good slot committed. for me. This is a good yeah. slot for me. Saturday, 6 p.m. Europe, 5 p.m. UK, go. midday New York, and on and on. It's a good there slot go. for me for an hour. You know, I don't want to be doing yeah. live streams and hours and hours and hours i'm not here to make super chats i don't want to do any of that bullshit i just, I just want to have a quick chat and uh yeah we'll, yeah, we'll see fun. but anyway have so the, the, the banner at the bottom send pics so you know possibly in future streams we can do you know take a look at some watches look at this one <laughs> Deg, what do you think of that what do you think of this you know we'll see we'll just, we'll just go with the flow there's no there's no real plan we'll just figure it out as we go along yeah for sure cool on that note, I think uh, yeah, let's let's end it. Let's keep it short and sweet. Thirty-eight minutes, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you. I, I appreciate it. this. Yeah. Frozen Diego, Fred, thank you so much. Honestly, Great thank friend. you so much. No problem. Happy to come. Happy to come. Looks after me. <laughs> cool, guys. Okay. We're gonna end the broadcast. Until next See time. Ya. All right.